Why is it that some channels just blow up even though it looks like they're not really doing anything that significant and other channels that seem to be offering tremendous value just aren't growing at the same rate? Afazi Ali asked it this way. Here's a case study I can't fathom. How does a guy like PewDiePie amass 61 million subscribers at your channel with such great content and focus on strategies to build your channel can only muster 370,000? Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you grow your YouTube audience so you can reach people and change their lives. And why is it that this channel, and maybe others like it, you know, they seem to be like great channels, but they're just not growing as fast as other channels that seem to be doing something much more lame or insignificant or not as high quality or why is it that the guy in the basement with the webcam is outperforming the six man professional movie studio who's trying to grow on YouTube? Why? What's going on there? Well, the answer isn't simple. There's a lot of factors to consider, but the, one of the first ones though is the brand. And what I mean by that isn't icons and logos. What I mean by brand is when someone thinks of that brand, what do they feel? feel about it? What is it that they associate that brand with? And then what it really comes down to is how easy that brand makes it for people to love what they're doing and what they're all about. There's a lot of things that get wrapped up to a brand that like human elements that people need to have in order to really connect well. And I've plugged this book a lot of times, but it is so true. Primal Branding by Patrick Hanlon. The, he talks about seven aspects of the primal code that brands who have this stuff ingrained into their content and into what they're doing, their products, whatever, it is so much easier for people to grow gravitate towards it. And it's why the musician who, who goes double platinum and sells out concert venues might not actually be a great musician. There's probably tons of musicians in the world who are better performers and, mus and musicians than they are, but that's the person who goes big, right? Or it's why the inferior product outsells the superior product all day long. It's why someone with a lame, seemingly lame channel, seems like they're, they're growing so much faster than the people who are doing something really professional. It, it's really less about the content quality and more about the human qualities of that brand and what people are attaching themselves to. So if you listen to PewDiePie, he is constantly telling stories. Oh, no way, there's a brain in there. Oh man, this, uh, I, I, that, done. I mean, he's actually playing video games, which themselves are a story, but people aren't really watching for the video games. They're watching because they feel like they're hanging out with like their best friend. That kind of goes along with number three, which is different channels provide different values to different target audiences, right? So PewDiePie has figured out how to, how to deliver a really good value to a broad amount of people. That's very difficult to do. Since different groups of people find different things to be valuable, the potential audience audience size of different channels is very different as well. Like here on video creators, if there's maybe around like 1 million active YouTube creators who have uploaded a video in the past 30 days to their channel who speak English, for me to have one third of them total is pretty good, you know, market penetration. If this channel got 100% of every active English speaking cre YouTube creator out there, you know, it, it still wouldn't be that huge of a channel relative to YouTube overall. And then you have to consider that each audience kind of performs differently on YouTube as well. Like in our creator community here, there is high turnover. There's a lot of people who start growing their YouTube channel, start watching channels like this, and then after a few weeks with few months, they just kind of give up because they start realizing that it is much harder to grow a YouTube channel than it looks like from the outside. And so those people don't unsubscribe from this channel. They just stick around and passively kind of wait for something to come across in case they decide to pick up their channel again one day, which is very different than if you have like an entertainment based channel where people are watching from one video to the next video for a very different value they want to keep up rather than like an educational value like on this channel, like, ah, I'll subscribe, but I'll 
I'll wait to see if the next one that comes seems like it's something I need to know or not. So there's really just a lot of different variables and things that go into it. If you want to learn more about like the behind the scenes secrets that are really making channels grow explosively on YouTube right now, I have a short playlist for you right here. Click and go watch those videos. They'll definitely help you out. A lot of data that I've been seeing with the channels I work with personally is in those. So go check them out. Subscribe here and I'll see you guys in those next videos.